Collateral damage. Lots of collateral damage. Yes. It's fine. Yeah. You kill you kill some to save some and then kill some more. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I agree. I would, let I me agree. ask you this. Again, it comes back to proportionate response. When the world yes. when the world decided it had to get rid of ISIS because of the appalling butchery they were carrying out, uh, yes. it did so by by also killing it very sadly a lot of civilians along the way by doing airstrikes yes. against places which But killing civilians ISIS are inevitable. So you my, said that in the beginning. My point is once, it's, in, it's inevitable. Yeah, but once inevitable. Israel we, once we, we, Israel has decided that they want to get rid of Hamas mm -hmm. and Hamas is embedded with civilian yes. population. I'm very concerned about yes. what's going to happen next. I've written a column tonight saying yeah, I remember the Iraq and, and war the which is, I opposed, I, right? I, I, I remember all this. So my question absolutely. to you is I know I what would be what would you yeah, think would be an appropriate response by Israel to what happened? Well, well, the, these are years of disproportionate responses of Israel. Right. Did it solve the solution? Did it solve the problem? Did it, did it work before? Good point. So it will work? Good what, point. What will be the surprise this time? Good point. What will be the twist that will make this work this time? What? What will be different this time? Seriously, I mean, like, okay. this is only that. What he's saying makes a lot of sense because if you base this on the idea of science, you go to scientific standards. Uh, Einstein, actually. Uh, if you do something and continuously do so and get the same result each time, but you continue to do so, it's a sign of insanity. Think about it, what he's, just, what he's saying now. If you continue to do the same thing, if Israel continues to do the same thing and do it on larger and larger scales, this is insanity. And that's quoted before what I said by Einstein using his logic, okay? Using his logic, and, and uh, Bassem is using his logic. I don't know if he even knows it. But he's using that logic right now. Pierce should keep his mouth quiet at this point. The last 15 years, I mean, because it's too too many papers. I just got this. But what? How, how will this will be different? And the thing is, it. I am so glad in the introduction that you mentioned the Iraq War. I applaud you, Pierce, for saying that because you were honest about it. You said that spreading lies like WMDs, make people look at those people as less of humans there you they go. would accept the death of a million Iraqi, whether by shanks no, or, right. or by invasion, right? You are, you, you are a good man. This is amazing. And you know what is similar? Is when you spread the lies of 40 decapitated babies, although it was refuted. So what happens when people hear that, you know, killing babies good is point. horrible. Good point. But when you say decapitated 40 babies, you are planting a certain image well, who with has a said certain that? trigger in people's mind. Who wow. Pierce, who are you crazy? Who has said that? You have said 40 decapitated. Who has said you that? Have, you have repeat. No, no, I haven't. What? I've never said that. Okay, there's video of Ben Shapiro saying what he said and also Pierce Morgan talking about this incident as well. And on both instances, Pierce Morgan is a well-known, established uh, journalist, sort of a reporter and uh or you know host as well and he is continuously denying the truth uh, that's a very strange uh, uh scenario going on here wow you haven't said on your show 40 decapitated no. babies never ben shapiro didn't say it no ron DeSantis didn't say nobody it. has said okay but, uh, Pierre, Pierre, no, nobody haven't. said it no Oh, okay. Okay, maybe I am wrong. Decapitated. Yeah, you're thing. wrong. I've never said the that. The thing, what happened, what, ha yeah, what, what, no, you're, you're wrong. But the thing is, when Iraq, but the thing is, the same thing is happening in Iraq. Ben Shapiro once tweeted, not even about Gaza, about the West Bank, when Israel continued to build the illegal settlement. He mm -hmm. said, 2017, Israel likes to build things and Arabs, not Palestine, not Hamas, mm -hmm. Arabs, like to bomb crap and live in open sewage. Yeah, I thought that Yo, was very, land, very the, the, the Israeli to say. De, the, the Israeli defense, mm. the, the Israeli defense minister, he said, those are human animals. Mm. And the thing is, Ben Shapiro should know better because, you know, long before the Holocaust, before Jewish people were thrown in the gas chambers, the Nazi propaganda called them rats. Mm. Now, as a human being, I would never accept that another human being being thrown in a, into a gas chamber, but a, a rat kill a t ten. Kill a thousand, three thousand five hundred. They are son of a bitch. They are human animals who live in open sewage and decapitate babies. And mm -hmm. because of that propaganda, Mr. Morgan, mm -hmm. that guy in Illinois, the seventy-one years old there guy, you go. he killed, stabbing the six years old Palestinian kid in Illinois twenty-six times. And he used to play with him. They used to be friends. But he went in marching into their apartment, stabbing his mother and killing him, shouting 
all Muslims could die. Yeah. It took you 80 years there to change go. one word from Jewish to Muslim. Mm. And then you transferred your guilt to us and took away our land. Let me ask you a question. That, that deal sucks, man. Let me ask you a yeah. question. Uh, ask, ask how do we get from where we are now I don't even want to hear your question. The first thing is that uh, Bassem hit a lot of, you know, a lot of things on the head, man. Uh, he he hit points like crazy here from the very beginning up to this point. I, I watched, I did a video on this child, uh, the six-year-old child. I was born here in America. I grew up in foster white homes in Texas. And I keep saying in a lot of my videos that white supremacy, even though not everybody is racist, it's embedded within the constitution in the beginning of this country was formed on the basis of white supremacy ideals. You know, it's going to take a while to get that to change. Only in 1960, what, how many years ago is that? 50, 60 years ago now? You know, and, and uh, that's not a long time when you look at, you know, the entire span of of, uh, of America, you know. Um, racism is terrorism. It really is. It's They both walk hand in hand. A, a six-year-old baby child, and he, and he also stabbed the mother multiple times. I don't know if she's still alive. How do you kill a fucking child? Excuse my language. You know, I'm probably going to have to bleep that out, but I just, uh, something inside me uh, gets... Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's like, you, you, you know, you feel it, you know, it's just, you know, how, how does it, how do you get to the point where you want to harm a child like that? You know, uh, just because of, of, uh, of what people say in the news, you know, I think that's the point that he's making here. People like Piers Morgan and Piers Morgan feels really guilty right now. That's why he's switching the subject right away. He knows that he's a part of that. What we said earlier, you know, he, uh, Bassem said that, and I said that earlier. We made that connection. You know, the you, the, the news and social media can be used uh, for uh, very vile purposes, and uh, you know, whoever controls the algorithms on 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 uh, social media, which we know who they are, they can get people and sway their opinions. The masses, they can sway the masses of all the people. And they can try, but what they, you know, the, the sad thing is people like myself and other people that want to bring some kind of light to the situation, speak about it in an intellectual way and have a debate, you know, a discourse that would open, uh, you know, ideas and, and give people room to speak in places that we, we should be allowed to speak. That from my time being born here in America, which I know if I mention anything in the past, even up to this day, you know, uh, I've been you know, been through a lot of problems in my life because I'm outspoken about these things. Um, there's nothing more atrocious than, 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 uh, you know, dominating and, and, uh, dictating and, you know, harming people based on a falsified, uh, argument, you know, a falsified argument that, that, that you label them as terrorists because you have a dis, uh, you, you have a disagreement on what's right and what's wrong. And that's really what it comes down to. And who gets to say, who gets to come to the end and say, okay, I'm the person that's in charge here. This is right. And that's wrong. And that, you know, that's where we're having the problem with the people that are, um, you know, that are initiating this, you know, or implementing it as well. We have to find out, you know, how to fix that problem there. I want to hear what he has to say now. So peace. Well, first of all, you need to change the perception. Uh, Nikki Haley, the American presidential candidate, said, we are in Israel in this because it's a fight between evil, uh, good and evil. Now, if you already decided someone is good, he can do no evil. Interesting, you and went right there. someone is evil, <laughs> it's good to kill them. Killing them is good. <laughs> We're on the right you track, see, I was just I, saying The that. thing is, it is, it is not like something new. I mean, I, I, I look at history and I see, I'm sorry to say, and I'm sorry to say this, but Westerners has, has always dealt like this with indigenous people. There you go. Them like this savages, is true. You know, native, true. You know, native American, First Nation, Aboriginal. They're savages. Kill all the savages. And then when they're almost extinct, you start feeling sorry for them, you know, like animals. So maybe, maybe the solution is that we kill as many Palestinians as possible so that few of them that remains do not bother you. And you maybe keep, Nathan you keep Yahoo, talking about for, it, for another Bassem, 100 years, he'll become a tree hugger. Let me just challenge you on this. And he will campaign All right, for, listen, for, for, for you, preserving you keep, the three You keep talking about yeah, Westerners go. like me. Okay, so let me return the favor, okay? 
Hamas yes. is dedicated to the complete eradication of Jewish yes. people. So everything you're saying makes a lot of sense to me. Just listen to this. Compared to a jihadi terrorist, uh, and uh, they are connected to broader political issues, uh, broader political disputes and polarizations uh, in the United States, but also connected to other uh, white supremacist and other extremist movements around the world. Interesting, right? And these are this is happening more and more. People are now bringing this out more and more. So we need to speak about it. Something that needs to be discussed. I am they, not the spokesman for Hamas. I'm not saying Adi. you are. Why do you? Why do you <laughs> I'm not saying I'm you not are. The spokesman. You're talking I to me. I fucking hate them. Basen, Fuck Hamas. You are. Go you are, some Hamas. No, no, are you happy? You're missing my point. <laughs> You're talking in a okay. generalized way about people in the West who always talk about Arabs as savages. I don't. No, no, no. I'm talking I about America. I'm, I'm I actually let me. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, the entire time that Bassem is speaking, Pierce uh, Morgan is consistently defending himself in this because he knows the implications of him being uh, any part of uh, what's happening to Palestine right now, his words, you know, and that's what Bassem pointed out. And he, he denied it, fully denied it, but you can't erase what's on the internet. None of us can. You know, all of us have said and done things and blah, blah, blah. So I'm not saying that he's the worst person in the world or a bad person, but maybe he doesn't realize that everything that he's saying and doing is in accordance with genocide, you know, and uh, it's, it's it's basically like propaganda for it. You know, it's like, you know, basically what Bassam was saying, you know, uh, they're pushing this idea consistently and, and trying to legitimize it in the eyes of the people all over the world but the people know differently they know the history of america they know the history of white supremacy and they know what this entails i had said before that the only time you ever see this type of hate and anger is where there is white supremacy involved like this you know here in this country like you said with the native americans is something i thought about a while ago you know and here we are so many years later Ooh.